All right, for our next example, we're going to be rotating this point counterclockwise around or about the origin. So counterclockwise means goes this way. Here's the directions. Rotate the following point counterclockwise. I'll go ahead and just say around the origin uh, because that's what the directions are going to tell you to do. So we're going to rotate it about the origin. And counterclockwise means going the opposite way of what a clock normally goes. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees, just like the last example, but we're going the other direction. We're going to be starting with the same point. So step one, um, like I talked about in the previous example, is to label your points or a point, depending on whether it's a shape or a point. Okay, so we have labeled that point already. Again, these are the steps for rotating a point 90 degrees counterclockwise. Let's go ahead and label that point. All right, so this point is 2 comma 3, and that's easy for the first step, right? Next step we're going to do is flip x and y. So x is going to become y, y is going to become x. So this is actually the same exact thing that we did before when um, rotating uh, clockwise. Okay, so nothing's changed from steps one and two. The difference now, since we are rotating counterclockwise, is we're going to make our y value negative. Or sorry, x value negative, excuse me. Change the sign of the new x value. So this new x value is going to become negative if it's positive and positive if it's already negative. Okay, so since this x value is positive, I'm going to make it negative and change the sign of the new x value after I flip this point. And again, the reason this works, just real briefly, we're going counterclockwise. By taking that x value, after flipping it and taking that x value making it negative, we're moving to the left instead of to the right, you know, which would be clockwise. So new point's going to be negative 3, 2. Now we're just going to plot the new point. So a new point is going to be negative 3, 2. There it is, the blue point, and you might be thinking, okay, how do we know this is 90 degrees again? By the way, let me go ahead and put the label for that. It's going to be negative 3, 2. You know, does this look like a 90 degree change in respect to the origin? Well, again, what we can do is just kind of draw a line from our original point to our new point and see that it does form a 90 degree angle with the origin. You can also draw an arc and see that that arc represents 90 degrees or 90 out of 360, which is one fourth of the circle. So those are your points for rotating counterclockwise a point. Um, there's your steps again, just in case you forgot. We're going to use these concepts when we do shapes. When you rotate a shape clockwise or counterclockwise, all you do is just follow these same steps with each individual point and then connect the dots. So if you have any other questions about rotating a point counterclockwise, let me know.